we're gonna be walking outside. You're gonna be okay. All right. Okay. BMW root beer stand. Then I came to work here when I was 17, doing tours. We gave a tour at 9, 10, and 11, 1, 2, and 3. Only in the summer between Memorial Day and Labor Day, and there was one tour guide. It was me. So you know, all of our employees in, are in here and. They uh, don't like it when they have to give more than two tours, and I always remind them that we had to give six tours. And sometimes the group was two people, sometimes it was 50 people. You never knew who would show up. We didn't have a reservation system or anything like that. Right, Jacob's family, this is how it started. So Jacob came up here, as I mentioned, with the, his boyhood friend, John Miller. The Lining Kugel family first came to Sauk City. Uh, Sauk City where Jacob established, or his Jacob's dad, Matthias, established a brewery. Uh, his dad, Matthias, was a brewer and a brandy maker in Germany. They moved his family to Sauk City in 1845. Um, Jacob was only two years old at the time, but trained all of his boys in the brewing art. Uh, Jacob's um, original brewery, or Matthias's original brewery in Sauk, Baraboo was one of the brothers, uh, Jacob's brothers, that established a brewery in Baraboo. Another brother came up to Eau Claire, and it was in Eau Claire that uh, uh, Jacob, my great-great-grandfather, and his friend uh, John Miller worked before coming up here to Chippewa Falls because there was uh, no brewery and the largest sawmill under one roof that was employing 2,000 lumberjacks in that sawmill so what a great place to put a brewery you could only take beer as far as a horse could take it in a day which is about 20 miles we didn't have refrigeration only things that can be picked up by the human sense of smell or taste so we taste beer I would say Lining Kugel's light, number one. Bottles, if we ever have it, looks like we have cans. Then I would say original. And then I would say they love our toasted Bach and Oktoberfest. Those two. Um, they aren't big fans. Our employees, our, I'm talking about our production employees, not necessarily our younger Liney Lodge employees, but our you know, men, primarily, although we have several women uh, that are working in here. Um, they're not going to be big fans of Berry Vice, Juicy Peach, Summer Shandy, or any of the fruit-flavored beers. Uh, they're traditionalists. You know, they want beer-flavored beer. What's that, Bobby? Okay. Well, that's what he's running. Running on the floor. So this vessel and the vessel ahead of uh, up on top, the mast ton, was a combo of